Do you know what is the CT value in the RT-PCR, especially in SARS-CoV-2? Let's see in detail. Yes, let us consider a person is exposed to the virus that is SARS-CoV-2 and he becomes infected, but he doesn't develop any symptom in the first week after exposure. So in the second week of exposure, the virus has been in the detectable level, but still the person doesn't develop any symptom of SARS-CoV-2. And later, that is a third week after the exposure, he has the maximum production of virus in which there is a rate of transmission of SARS-CoV-2 also becomes very high and gradually the production of virus as well as the transmissibility gradually reduces at the sixth and seventh week. To say a person is being infected with SARS-CoV-2, we are doing an RT-PCR. So what does this RT-PCR do? It just detects the RNA genome of the SARS-CoV-2 in a patient sample. So either it just finds out a single target area of the genome or the multiple areas of the genome. If you want to know detailedly about the RT-PCR, you can check the description box to know about the RT-PCR of SARS-CoV-2. CT value means cycle threshold by RT-PCR. So it is a semi-quantitative value which tells you approximately how much viral genetic material is present in the patient sample. Based on that, it can be categorized as low, medium and high. So if a person is having a low CT value, it means there is a high concentration of viral genetic material in the patient sample. So it is typically associated with a high risk of infectivity. For example, if a patient having a high CT value, it means the, there is a low concentration of viral genetic material in the patient sample, which has been associated with a low risk of infectivity. The CT value cannot be relied upon as a single value to determine the patient's infectivity. Always we have to combine the CT value with the clinical context to decide about the patient's infectivity status. The other shortcoming of the CT value is that the CT value of one laboratory will not be same as that of the other laboratory because uh, each laboratory uses different assays of different types and hence the CT value cannot be directly compared between different assays. The cycle threshold value can be defined as a thermal cycle number at which the fluorescent signal exceeds that of the background and thus passes the threshold of positivity. This is a graph showing the RT-PCR post-run analysis with the x-axis being the cycle number and the y-axis being the relative fluorescence. So do you see a dotted line which shows the threshold line? A typical RT-PCR will have a maximum of 40 thermal cycles. Lower the CT value, higher the quantity of viral genetic material in the patient sample. And hence, we are able to distinguish whether the patient has having a high viral load or a low viral load. So if you have a 3 point increase in CT value, it is roughly equivalent to 10 fold decrease in the quantity of viral genetic material. For example, if a patient is having initially 28 and gradually uh, in the next test the CT value goes with 25, so there is a 3 point decrease which means there is a 10 fold decrease in the quantity of genetic material in that particular patient. As I mentioned earlier, the different laboratory uses different assay and hence the CT value of one laboratory cannot be directly compared because there is a variation in the following factors like sensitivity, chemistry of reagents, gene targets, cycle parameters, analytical interpretative methods, sample preparation and extraction techniques. So the CT value is inversely proportional to the patient's infectivity. For example, if a person is having a low CT value, he has high viral load. But if the patient is having a high CT value, it doesn't mean always the patient is having a low viral load because the patient can either be in an early stage of infection or in the late stage of infection. High CT value has to be interpreted very promptly because the patient can be an asymptomatic case so with an unknown infectivity risk or the patient can either be a pre-symptomatic infection who will be subsequently developing a symptomatic phase with high viral load and 
and it can also be an inadequately collected sample or the sample which has been degraded in the process or the patient can be in a recovery phase of infection and hence the high CT value has to be interpreted along with the clinical context in a very precise manner. To summarize, CT values a semi-quantitative indicator of concentration of viral genetic material in the patient sample and CT value should be interpreted and applied along with the clinical interpretation and it should not be acting as a sole indicator of patient's infectivity and also it cannot be compared between the assays because the different laboratory uses different assays. So if a patient is having a low CT value, it means a high viral load, the patient is in the acute phase of disease or it may be an eye infectivity. But high CT value doesn't always mean it's a low viral load because there are a lot of scenarios which has to be put forth along with the high CT value to interpret correctly with the clinical context. Hope you like this video and if you want to know more about RT-PCR and SARS-CoV-2, kindly check in the description box for the link of RT-PCR video and if you like the video like comment and share and do subscribe to Dental Shots for the timely notification of new videos. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless you all.